Berkeley, we uh, really took an initiative from the Department of Public Health on a program that they were offering to support state agencies. And we were looking at really looking at a workplace wellness program that was comprehensive, that focused in on really promoting the health and wellness of our employees, their families, uh, as well as our communities. Um, you know, we're an employer of over 5,000 um, correction officers, correction program officers, managers, etc that work in a very difficult environment. Uh, we're a 24-7 operation, um, and obviously we're, we're dealing with some of the more difficult uh, inmates that we, ha we have in the Commonwealth, and it sometimes can be very stressful, and sometimes uh, a good wellness program and a workplace wellness program uh, provides some interventions to assist to, to really help our employees to manage that, that end of their personal lives as well as their professional lives. Hi, I'm Tina Anthony and this is Lisa Antunes mm -hmm. and this is our Fitness and Wellness Expo as part of our Working on Wellness Initiative. Hi. Today we have over 30 vendors here at Warren Hall um, to kick it off. Um, uh, ranges anywhere from Reiki, re uh, reflexology, uh, massage, uh, we have personal trainers, weight management and nutritionists from Brockton Hospital, uh, kettlebell training, chiropractic, uh, we also have uh, pampered, pampered Chef, um, aromatherapy candles. And most people are well aware of the relaxation um, aspects of a massage or to relieve stress, but most people don't realize the many other benefits. Um, it can increase the uh, range of flexibility in people's mobility, uh, increases blood flow, uh, great to relieve tension, and also can relieve chronic uh, pain. Well, we're from um, Signature Healthcare Brockton Hospital, and we're just uh, providing some nutrition information and some information um, to the employees about, you know, general healthy eating as well as the services that we do provide um, outpatient nutrition. And um, we have a Way to Go program that promotes uh, healthy weight loss as well. We do a bone marrow stem cell registry for people with cancer and leukemia. So what people do is they fill out this form, okay, and then we do a cheek swab. And what that does, that puts them on an international registry to possibly be a match to help someone with cancer or leukemia. The whole process takes about five to seven minutes. You know, if you were a match, you could save a life. We have close to a uh, little over 40 people registered, you know, and, but currently right now there's about 5,000 people around the world who are looking for matches. So it's important to get as many people as possible to register. The purpose of my visit today is to bring a lot of prevention and education materials. Um, in particular, we wanted to bring information about the H1N1 vaccination in hopes of um, really calming some of the fears that people have about the vaccine for H1N1. And we also have some great flu care at home booklets trying to educate family members on how to take care of their loved ones if they were to get the flu this fall or winter. Um, because of my familiarity with corrections, I also brought a lot of information today about hepatitis A, B, and C. And um, another thing that has been a kind of a hot button issue within corrections is MRSA, which is a skin infection, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. And we have fact sheets that have been made just for correctional professionals. Uh, well, with Antunes Filipino Martial Arts, uh, we're going over a lot of self defense techniques uh, empty hand versus knife, uh, empty hand versus stick, stick on stick, uh, and some knife on knife. And uh, just to let people know that, yes, you can defend yourself and it might, you might be uh, <clears throat> having a weapon against you and you're empty handed and you can still defend yourself. Well, we're here to demonstrate Okinawan karate and uh, also we have the Okinawan diet. Okinawans are the longest living, healthiest people on the planet and we have an outline on the diet plan and also covering Shoin Ru karate from Shori Okinawa. And the karate we're doing is with weapons, some of the farm tools, and empty hand self-defense. We're hoping the Wellness, uh, wellness of Fitness Expo um, was very informational for people, opened a lot of people's eyes to what they need to do for their wellness and fitness, and hope to get a lot of feedback from uh, people on the complex and the other institutions, see how they liked it, and um, any um, contribution on uh, suggestions that we'd have for the next one.